And I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. The regular legislative session is over and the second special session is underway. Legislators are working to fill a $600 million shortfall. The question now is whether agriculture can stay out of the crosshairs for cuts. Louisiana Farm Bureau Legislative Specialist Joe Mapes says agriculture has fared pretty well during the first special session and the regular Louisiana legislative session where lawmakers focus on plugging significant budget holes in funding tops, road construction, and health care. Despite new tax increases and removal of some tax exemptions signed into law by Governor John Bell Edwards, MAPE says that tax exclusions affecting agriculture survived the chopping block. We were able to keep in place uh, most of the tax exemptions that keep agriculture competitive in the worldwide industry. Segwaying into the regular session, we didn't have as many issues in the regular session as we did quite frankly, in the special, but we managed those issues very well. Some of them were water issues. Some of them were expropriation issues. Uh, other were trespassing issues. We dealt with them all. Uh, very proud of how we came out in this session. LSU Ag Center kept that budget uh, as whole as we could. We took some losses there. Like to have uh, done better than we did, but we did as well as we could considering the conditions. Going into this third session of the legislature, Governor Edwards is hoping legislators approve a, quote, long-term plan that is worthy of the people of Louisiana, while the second special session will address the remaining $600 million shortfall for the fiscal year that begins on July 1st. Mapes explains that he cannot guess how agriculture could be impacted moving forward. There's been discussion about, you know, this particular type of tax possibly being increased or that particular type of tax being increased or tax exemptions being removed or decreased. And again, we're not sure what these items in the call will allow as far as pieces of legislation to address just that. So AJ, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, speculate on that. Governor John Bell Edwards intends to raise revenue to fully fund the budget for fiscal year 2017, including top scholarships, higher education, K through 12 education, as well as safety net hospitals. 